Well, this is really a very, very sensitive one. There's a uh, text message to his father in which he says the following. And he's discussing, um, he's discussing his uh, sister-in-law, who for quite some time was his lover. And he says, uh, she, she told my therapist that I was sexually inappropriate. This would be with a unnamed 14-year-old girl. When she says that I FaceTime naked with the unnamed 14-year-old girl, and the reason I can't have her out to see me is because I walk around naked smoking crack, talking Tom girls on FaceTime. When she was pressed, she said that the unnamed 14-year-old girl never said anything like that, but the bottom line is that I created and caused a very unsafe environment for the kids. Uh, this is supported by numerous pictures of underage uh, girls. So, in, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, I, uh, that is, look, that's dynamite stuff, uh, and I've seen I it. I turned it over to the... To, Let, to the you turned, turned it, you it turned over, it over to, the, to, to the Delaware State Police, correct? Yes, yesterday. Bernie Carrick and I turned it over to the Delaware State Police because we're right. very uncomfortable with this. So we're very uncomfortable with the fact that these underage girls were not protected. So here's the deal. Hunter Biden, let's face it, he's never going to be elected to anything, and he'll probably wind up in jail someday for something. Who knows? But I'm more concerned about the vice president because he's the one who's running. Right. I see that. But you know what I don't see, Mr. This was sent to the vice president. Here's the deal. And look, I want to be clear here. I'm like a... him. Yeah, but you know what is this not there? To him. What, did, what, what did he do about it? Exactly. What did he do about it? Well, for three years. <laughs> Mr. He, Mayor, he the only thing son. is, in that, hold on a second, in the text messaging you just showed me and we went through, we've got Junior, who is Joe Biden, talking to Hunter Biden. We have no acknowledgement in what we just saw from the vice president. We don't know what he knows or whatever, and this is all family drama. And by the way, it's so late, it's big time, it, they could be in trouble. I, and I'm glad you got it out there, but I want to know, is there anything concrete tying Joe Biden to... Burisma money, money from China. Uh, you know, it does not look good at all to me, those emails and what they were up sure. to. Anything in that regard. And if you haven't yeah. found it yet, you're kind of saying it might still be there because how much of this hard drive well, have I you been through? I found it already. You found it. There's a memo in here that says that 10% of the money that was being uh, whacked up, that was $10 million a year, and then 50% of the profits with three Chinese communists, one of whom was a Chinese uh, intelligence operative, that 10 percent of that was going to H for the big guy. So we've identified the big guy several ways. One, right after that text message, uh, email rather, there's an email that is asking for keys for the office they're going to share with the Chinese communists. And the first key they ask for is for Joe Biden, the big guy. Yeah. Number two, there's an anonymous source that has told uh, Fox News that the big guy is definitively Joe Biden. He's one of the people involved in the deal. I know his name. I'm not at liberty to tell you, but I'm told that within a day or two, he's going to go public. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.